All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Studios here, and I uh, got an email from yesterday from a gentleman named Dave Wolf, and I told him in the video last night that, Dave, you are next, and yes, you are. It's really cool because uh, when a viewer sends me an email, a couple people have sent those. What I do is I set those emails aside, and I go through and I read them and I vet them. Now, I really haven't vetted this email, but I thought it was interesting. Uh, so we're going to do a story on that. But before we do that, I want to talk to you about another thing. This is a YouTube channel called The Good Patriot, or Good Patriot. It's a young lady. Uh, she's got about 99,000 subscribers there. Uh, and I think it's good that we all share our uh, knowledge of other YouTube channels in the industry because she does a lot to bring new shooters into the market. And I took the liberty of checking her videos out, and man, does a good job. And uh, get on over there. Uh, Good Patriot is the name of the YouTube channel. And uh, David asked that we'd uh, take a look at that. Also, before we do anything, um, I've had this guy for quite some time now. And it's, it's really neat. It's called uh, the Black Rack. Yeah. And this is a rack system for your AR-15. And this is, this is more uh, in lines of something that would be used with law enforcement. A lot of times you see those ones that you hang on the wall, but this is designed to go into your vehicle. Uh, a lot of the North Carolina State Troopers have these things in their vehicles. The black, the black rack, black rack. But it ties on to uh, these, ra these rail systems which are uh, bolted down into the floorboards or onto the uh, transom or whatever into your trunk. And you're able to secure your AR-15 in such a way that you can literally not get it out of here because it covers up your takedown and your pivot pin. So anyway, we're going to be doing a review on this thing. I've had this for quite some time with the idea that we're going to take the, uh, the Wildebeest and be able to secure this in my vehicle and be able to fold the seat down and then retract it uh, from inside the trunk from the rear seat area. So anyway, uh, we got that and then we've got, uh, believe it or not, not an O-Light, but a Night Core. These, I promote other lights, even though it's made in China, but it is a Night Core, not an O-Light. And then we've got this guy right here, the MD-25 with the ACSS Micro Dot. Uh, this thing is really cool, the ACSS CQB. All right, so what are we talking about here? Let's get on with the story because that's why you're here. Uh, I'll put the link down below. This is by the American Military News. New York judge dismisses ghost gun charges, says <laughs> feds lied on the search warrant application. Yeah, no kidding, right? They'll actually do that. I've seen it before. All right, I'm going to read this. A New York judge has dismissed a case involving a man whose homemade ghost guns, and, and it's a big topic these days, these ghost guns, homemade ghost guns, were confiscated by law enforcement last year, citing a misleading search warrant application that was submitted by the federal authorities with reckless disregard for the truth. Guys, here's the whole thing. Uh, I'm all about law enforcement. You know I am. But I'm not about out of control law enforcement. I'm gonna pull this over here so we can read it a little easier without looking away from the camera. Uh, when there are people out there who will take advantage of the situation in an effort to push their agenda, I'm not a big fan of that. And the ATF, with the people who are leading them right now, we're going to run into a lot more of this kind of crap. And this happened in January 2020. Police raided the home of John Andrews, Jr., 52, I'm 52, alleging that the New York had purchased a solvent trap online with the intent of turning the device into the illegal suppressor. Uh, this is from the Buffalo News as they reported. Now, here's the whole thing. You can go on Amazon and buy a so-called solvent trap. It's a solvent trap. We all know what their solvent traps are, and we all know what their intent is on this thing, but an implied intent by someone who doesn't know exactly what the hell you're doing with it is BS. I mean, if they're selling them on Amazon, all they're doing is going to track them out. Now, I haven't had anybody show up at my door because I do have one, and I really don't give a rat's ass. It's going to sit there. It's a POS anyway, and I would never mount it to anything that uh, goes bang. Uh, let's continue on. The search warrant obtained by federal authorities, however, said Andrews had illegally purchased a silencer. <laughs> Solvent traps are gun accessories that have an opening on one end used to collect fluid while cleaning a gun. They are legal to possess. The choice of words used by the police in the application, or the warrant application, were persuasive and wrong. Justice Christopher J. Burns 
wrote in his January 14th decision to dismiss the case. As a result, this court must find there was a reckless disregard for the true nature of the item and must suppress any items recovered through the search warrant. Now, I would like to know if this gentleman got his stuff back because if he had any firearms that were in the house, assuredly they would probably go ahead and make sure they take those things. On the afternoon of January 7th, West Seneca po Police, West Seneca Police, as well as agents from the Homeland Security, uh, ATF, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, and U.S. Postal Inspectors, good God almighty. Now, I've seen raids where you have, like, I don't know, a parole officer, but I've never seen one where they had all these people. Evidently, each one of these agencies had a complaint. <laughs> Uh, arrived at Andrew's home after his solvent trap purchase was flagged by Customs and Border Protection agents in California. He's all the way in New York. You get somebody flagged in, in California, they really were trying to go after this one person who had a so-called solvent trap. Think of the, uh, the resources, the amount of money that it took to put this whole operation together. That's, that's what scares me. <laughs> After entering his home, law enforcement located firearms that allowed them to charge Andrews with eight counts of felony, felony possessions uh, of a weapon. Americans who believe in the Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms should be very concerned about that, said Representative Anthony Rupp III, uh, R. Anthony Rupp, Rupp III, Andrews civil attorney. I do think that the ATF, Homeland Security, have decided that people who buy solvent traps are very good candidates to be people who might have guns, no shit, or be intending to do something with them. Since the case is dismiss dismissal, Andrew says he is preparing a civil rights lawsuit in addition to trying to get the guns that were taken during the illegal raid return. Well, there's the answer to that one. This was all garbage, Andrew says. I didn't do anything wrong. The dismissal comes as President Joe Biden's administration made moves to regulate firearms, including measures to help stop the growth of homemade guns. Oh, man. Uh, so uh, it goes on to talk about ghost guns and how they're uh, putting forth efforts to prevent people from manufacturing so-called ghost guns or homemade firearms because they've got to have a grip around everything that we do. You got to have a mask on. You got to take the pills. You got to do this. Joe Biden won this election merely off the fact that he pushed the narrative that er Joe, uh, Donald Trump killed everybody. And if you wear a mask, everything's going to be okay. We keep this shit up, you're going to be wearing a mask in another two or three years. We're never going to escape the reality of this COVID bullshit because they will continue to push it. And they're going to continue to push against our Second Amendment rights. They're already voted today. Congress passed a whole deal to make D.C. a state a 51st state. There's the reason why D.C. is not a state. It's in our Constitution. But the Democrats don't give a shit about constitutional rights. They never have. Today we're taking steps to confront not just a gun crisis, but what is actually a public health crisis. Oh my God, we're going to turn it into a health crisis? He's chapping my ass. That old bird. The idea just bizarre to suggest that some of the things we're recommending are contrary to the the uh, the Constitution. All right, so I'm not going to continue further on this thing. Hey, before we end this whole deal, I uh, it's Thursday night, so I'm thinking at about 9 o'clock we're going to go live. And I'm going to have a couple yingling beers with me. So it ought to be fun, good discussion. But I want to put this out. Thanks, Dave Wolf, for pushing this in. Uh, I, I'm glad that there's a judge that will step up to defend the public because our Constitution is above all and is above the New York law, and is above California. You notice New York, California? Amazon selling solvent traps. Maybe they're using that as a trap. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are down below, guys. I appreciate you uh, joining me on this one. Thanks, Dave. And uh, the next one that we've got coming up, hold on one second, is by Blink Zero. We're going to be doing that one tomorrow evening. Let's go to Boy32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. I say this. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform. And I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who are not wasting their time running around with people who have ordered a solvent trap. Ooh, I bet the agent on that one. We got you now. Jesus Christ. Let's go to Boy32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.